right, time for a Black Adam movie review. Okay. What did I think about this movie? Um, yeah. Uh, it was good. <laughs> no, it was, it was okay. You know, um, so, uh, yeah, so we're reviewing Black Adam this week, and I wanted to just, like, I don't know, I haven't seen a DCEU, uh, DC Extended Universe movie for a while, and I just wanted to say that, you know, I didn't think it was terrible. Um, I think it gave me kind of what I expected movie-wise. Um, like, it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't anything groundbreaking, and, um, as, you know, many critics had panned, uh, as they, they seemed to be expecting, it wasn't anything in the topic that, that there, it wasn't anything revolutionary, or even, um, it didn't push the envelope at all, as the topic, uh, of the, of the movie had indicated that it might. So, Black Adam, for those who don't know, uh, was a DC, uh, universe, um, I guess the right phrase would be transgressive villain, um, and, uh, that means, essentially, it's like, you think a little worse than an anti-hero, or, tra sorry, it's transgressive hero, which is a little worse than an anti-hero, one that doesn't, uh, assign morality to, um, murder, uh, so, what did I think about this, and, uh, and, I, I don't know, I mean, like, again, he, The Rock played this, uh, played this character, and, and he didn't really embody, he only partially embodied the traits of this character, and I think the critics were expecting more, in terms of, like, a, a movie that really kind of pushed the boundaries, uh, it made me think. But, I mean, you know, here's the thing with CGI movies, or movies that are primarily CGI, I think most of them, it's, like, they're not often built in a way that spends a lot of time tickling your, uh, gray matter, so to speak. Like, I, I think that the, um, you know, like, maybe those critics who had, uh, Pan Black Adam were expecting too much from this movie. I, for my part, again, I, I like to, I, I like to think that I, uh, prefer cerebral movies, um, that give me a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, like, hey, this is an interesting take on things kind of, uh, vision of a movie, but, um, you know, again, for what it was, it wasn't terrible. It was better than I was expecting, extremely fast-paced, kind of as expected, but fast-paced in that kind of, like, um, MCU-ish kind of, like, superhero movie kind of way, the CGI, what I recall reading about it was, uh, it was too in-your-face and assaultative and it also not appealing. It wasn't that appealing. The CGI wasn't that appealing. Um, I mean, again, if this was maybe 1999 or 1995, oh, hell yeah, it would be, uh, quite appealing CGI. But, um, uh, by today's standards, and for the standards we've seen against, like, you know, movies like The Avengers and all that other stuff in the MCU, uh, the CGI was, I would say, par, you know, passable, and there was just some places that it was clearly CGI and the motion was really bad. But hey, whatever. I mean, people make their careers doing this, so I'm not gonna hate on that. The storyline was childish, uh, you know, low-level teenager at best, kind of, like, I don't, well, one thing I will say, that there was an interesting effect that I saw in the movie theater, is that I did hear a baby crying when a character was killed. So, that was interesting. Um, I think it was, uh, oh, and there are spoilers in this, um, movie, in this movie review, so if you don't like spoilers, then you shouldn't be listening to this, but uh, I'll say that, yeah, there was a baby crying in the theater when one of the, when the mother of the main character's son was killed, um, and that was, like, surprising because, again, I didn't expect this kind of movie to evoke emotions, and even though, like, and lots of times, like, you, when you've been to enough R-rated movies, you don't think of, like, the rating anymore as, um, really having an effect on people, but I guess kids, even in this day of desensitization, can still get scared, uh, at 
it's still gonna work and try it, etc. And so that that probably you know was just it was just kind of interesting. So I hope that baby wasn't traumatized. But I would say it feels like it should be kind of surprising to be traumatized by this movie. There was a lot of depth in this movie, which is um, on par with the darker DCEU extended universe. Uh, I guess there is also a fair amount of death in Marvel, but I feel that, like, at least my perceptions of the comparison is that um, the DCEU has more, like, you know, darker kind of death. I don't know. But there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of violence in this movie. So, um, and, you know, like, the main character was propounding, like, I guess, I, I think he had a loop. The Rock, I think he played the character well, but as, you know, the complaints of the movie were the moral precepts of the character were not really embodied. And I think, and that's one thing I really haven't seen The Rock do. I don't have, I haven't seen a ton of his movies. I've seen a number of them, but not a ton of them. But he never really, I think, he, he plays the action hero, okay, which is fair. He does it really well. He's clever, he's funny, and he, you know, um, is a good method actor. But I haven't seen him do something that's truly dark, per se. Like, I haven't seen him really take... I, and I, I, maybe he, he's not, uh, you know, into this kind of thing. I, I wouldn't think so. He seems to be... Not like he's superficial or surface level, per se, despite being as, like, you know, a beefy a guy as he is and his workout crazy as he is. In fact, I would think he was more intense than I would have expected. But he is... He plays, like, happier roles. And it's probably commensurate with his personality. Like, you know, he's kind of like... If you put him in a darker, like, kind of role, I just, I don't see it working out. I don't know why. Like, a, a truly dark role, not like this. Like, again, I, I saw this movie and I felt like he, he had to gravitate towards being the hero. I don't know if he had any creative control. Um, but, like, I'll give you an example. Like, Black Adam... Uh, the character, the titular character, or Teth Adam, whatever, you know, as, a, as, the, as the attempt to be, um, you know, in the movie Egyptian, I guess, I, I think, like, the character, it seemed like the, I don't know, like, if the, the story occurs in Egypt, um, the character is supposed to be Egyptian, um, but in the movie there was a, a secondary continent, or certain, like, secondary, not continent, secondary country involved. I, I don't, I think this secondary country was, like, supposed to be a province of Egypt or something like that. Um, all of Black Adam's powers came from various Egyptian gods, and I guess he said this, you know, there were just certain things in the movie that were really, I, I hated it. I hated this part, where he had to say Shazam to uh, activate his powers or deactivate or transfer his powers, and, like, just, just Shazam is too comical for me, right? Like... I don't know. I mean, you take it like there. There were elements of this movie that were supposed to have some kind of historical-ish, you know, uh, uh, underpinning, right? Like, for example, the city itself. You know, again, there was references to Egyptian gods. There was references to translation of hieroglyphs or translations of the language of I forgot what the name of the city was, a Kadum or whatever. There's references to some capa some historical intellectual. Um, pseudo intellectual uh, underpinnings, but overall, the like the characters really like you know the, it's like things like Shazam or it's things like the main metal being called Eternium or something like that. I really didn't like that about. I don't like that about. Uh, I guess it helps it stick out, but like I mean, for example, you have adamantium, right? You know, you have uh, in in the Marvel universe or whatever other universes you have. Uh, you have many kinds of fantastical metals and minerals, and these, all of the, it seems to me there seems to be something, I guess it's really t to allow the audience to relate, and it's a bit comic bookish, and I know originally it was meant for kids, but things like Shazam and Eternium, they kind of take away from the depth of the movie. You know, even though the movie is not expected to have depth, I feel like this had the potential to have some more depth, right? Uh, again, it was so this was a two, and a two hour and five minute movie, um, so it, it really, it, and it, it I think it, I, I like the, you know, overall it, it, it felt like two and a half hours, but I wasn't like looking at my clock to be like, oh God, when is this going to end? I've been in movies like that. And I, I think I did enjoy this movie, like in a, on a 
visceral level or a, sort of a fundamental level but again there were things that were missing that would have made it way better uh, and you know I feel like I feel like I got my money's worth but I feel like more could have been squeezed from the lemon um, either way I'm not gonna be hypercritical about this because yesterday I'd watched a weekend at Bernie's 2 uh, at home and that was I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie, and uh, I know Eve, Roger Ebert didn't enjoy the movie. Um, and I, I felt like, I remember his review uh, was a little bit classist. I think he reviewed Weekend at Bernie's 1. I saw Weekend at Bernie's 1 last week, I saw Weekend at Bernie's 2 this week. First time I've seen them, they came out both in 1999. And so I guess I was in a mood, like I felt like I was in a mood to see something deeper, but I felt like I was okay with what I was presented with Black Adam. I also, though, one thing I do kind of uh, am not super happy about is that in the movie theater where I saw the movie, there aren't that many Halloween-ish movies. There's a movie called Halloween Ends, which, oh God, like I, I don't, I, I don't even remember seeing the first full of Halloween. Um, but there's nothing. I think it, it was a John Carpenter movie, right? Um, and I don't think anyone can really beat the first full Halloween movie. It's just like, I mean, people can, but other Halloween films probably can't. I'm saying that kind of like with only having a very passing knowledge of the Halloween movies. I should have probably watched more of them. Anyway, I'm making a commitment to really uh, engage in my pop culture uh, element again so I can feel like I fit in with society a bit. Uh, have conversations about movies and things. And last week I saw um, the movie Smile, which I thought actually was a pretty good movie. I'm not going to lie. That was creepy. Um, I, I don't know. It could have been creepier, but it was creepy enough for me for somebody who has not seen the movie. So maybe I'm just, you know, I've taken such a hiatus from the theater movies that I need to go and, like, watch them again and start, like, getting to the point where I'm expecting more from these movies. But uh, I guess in that sense, uh, Black Adam lucked out from my perspective for me in that, like, I, you know, I, I don't think I, I was satisfied with what I got <laughs> for the most part. So, um, what do I think of The Rock? And, and I had mentioned my thought of The Rock as an actor. The supporting cast, just some thoughts on it. Again, I haven't seen the a lot of the cinematic Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Um, so maybe I'm just, like, not uh, the expert in comparing these two things. But what I feel like I will say is that uh, at this point in time, based on the time gaps that I've had between the movies, um, there seems to be a lot of, like, character duplication. Right, like, uh, like there's Hawkeye, then there's Hawkman, and I, I don't know. I, I, I just I, Hawkman is in the position of the captain of the uh, the Justice League. I, I mean, I don't again. I missed what happened in the last few Superman movies. I guess Superman made a cameo in this movie, um, uh, which Henry Cavill. I think I like him as an actor. Uh, I like him in The Witcher, uh, but. Um, overall like okay so i'm gonna cut this short uh this was supposed to be a short review i don't need to go super deep into the i'm, like, I'm gonna try to go deeper into the movies that i watch in terms of like looking up the director looking up the actors etc i got to the movie a little late because i was um uh you know i was trying to get a ticket at the time and yeah so there you go anyway so um that's my review of black adam uh i probably like there's a part of me that would give it like uh, two and a half stars or three for what it was I think I at this point in time I'm pretty forgiving and I'm gonna give it like a four um, because you know I'm not gonna go with, with again I'm not as picky as these critics that are watching movies constantly looking for the next big hit and looking for every flaw within a movie to compare it to like Gone with the Wind or something I don't know um, so yeah I'll, I'm okay with that but uh, I will say the next Black Adam movie, I am going to expect more from it. Um, if sh even if I watch it or even if I keep this trend on. So yeah, that's it. Um, like, subscribe, and uh, watch my channel. I will see you around. That's the movie review of the week. Good night.